Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about web apps. Well, you know that web apps are nothing new. They have been here before, but now we have some really huge changes that will make a huge impact on the future of iOS, iOS users, and of course, web apps. Apple has just released the new WebKit update and it has a lot of great features that will make web apps a thing of the future for the iPhone. So in today's video, I will show you guys what are web apps, how to install them, and how to use them on your iPhone. So what are web apps? In simple terms, a web app is basically a website that you can install on your home screen. You don't need to install it from the app store. You can get it right on your home screen. And for devs, it's great that it doesn't actually have to go through the app store and get approved. You can just install it from any website. So any website that will offer a web app can be used as an application on the home screen of your iPhone. Things like Instagram, Twitter, Uber, Starbucks do offer web apps. So I have Instagram here the app that I downloaded from the App Store, but I also can download the web app of Instagram on my home screen and also use it as well. And now with the new WebKit, I can also have notifications, which is amazing. I, I'm not missing anything here that I have on the official app. I have everything, I can use it, and of course have notifications and all that. So how do you install a web app? It's actually very simple. All you have to do is head onto the website. In this case, we want to install Instagram tap the share button, tap add to home screen, tap the add button right there, and we're good to go. Here we have the Instagram web app. We can open it, and from here, of course, we can now just log in and start using the app. So here we are, all that's left to do now is tap on login, and we're good to go. We have now here the Instagram web app. We can save the passcode or not. And right here, you can see it opens, it even offers us to turn on the notifications. We can tap allow and just like that, we have the Instagram web app installed on our device. This is an app that you can install directly from the website and actually not have to go through the app store at all. Now, as you probably know, Apple will be forced to actually allow side loading and third party app stores in the future next year by EU law. So this is a thing that probably will have a huge impact in the future of iOS and also apps. And with a new WebKit update that Apple has just released, they're making a huge, huge change. So once you have done this, you're good to go. You have the app ready to use. The only thing left for you now is to actually allow these notifications from the settings app. And to do that, you will need to go to settings, head on to Safari here and scroll all the way down to advanced, go to experimental features and find here notifications. So let's just find the notifications here and we need to turn it on because it's actually turned off by default as you can see. We have it turned on right now and we're good to go. Now we have everything that we have on the official app on the web app as well. So not every website actually offers this. So a lot of websites, if you add them to the home screen, they will just show a more like compact version of the website. They don't all offer a web app, but in the future, if Apple keeps making these huge improvements with the WebKit, probably a lot of them will offer web apps for your iPhone. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a like on this one. I'll see you on the next video.